In this third installment on uh, Farina reports with parameters, we're going to take a look at um, some of the controls that you have over, you know, how the parameter uh, prompting uh, looks. In the prior uh, screencast, we created a report based on uh, customer orders um, that has a parameter of customer ID. However, you know, you'd need to know uh, a customer in a customer ID in order to use this report. Uh, we did provide some drill down and that's still going to work, but now we're going to take a look at uh, changing this uh, text box to a drop down that is populated based on the, the data block we initially created for the customer list report. So we'll go ahead and hit the edit tab. We'll move to the parameters tab. You'll see here we have the um, uh, the single customer parameter that's in the report. Here we can customize um, customize uh, the the label that appears on the parameter. We can indicate whether this is required, um, uh, and we can uh, provide a default value if none is specified. Uh, we can add a description. Um, in this case, we're going to say select a customer from the list. And finally, as we move down to the data source, uh, this is in particular going to be used to populate uh, based on our input control type. So what we're going to do is we're going to specify the data source that was our customer's query, which lists all of the customers that are in our database. Um, for data field, um, we can have that be uh, 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 customer ID if we want. Uh, however, I'll sort of point out that uh, by default the data field and label field are pulled from the first and second columns in the select query. So uh, we've already got the customer ID as the first column in that select list and we've got the, the label as the second column. So we'll just go ahead and leave that blank for now. We'll change the input control type to select which means that we'll have a drop down associated with that and we'll leave this the rest all blank and we'll go ahead and hit save and as we go back to our list we should now see our new customer field it's got a red asterisk indicating the thing is required oh look I spelled customer wrong we'll have to fix that but you'll notice it does have a drop down list of all of the customers that came from our original customer uh, table. So let me go back and just very quickly, for posterity's sake, uh, correct the spelling there, and that will be good to go. Uh, as you saw, there's um, options for uh, checkboxes, radio buttons, all different kinds of modes of input for the parameters.